It's a sweatshop where work never ends. Underfed and underpaid, these children toil away, weaving some of India's best carpets. Tosib is one of the smartest workers here. He's also the youngest. Just 11 years old, he works with his bare hands and feet to produce the most fashionable designs. He tells me his uncle taught him to make carpets. That's how he feeds his family. Children are preferred over grown men in carpet weaving because their small fingers make it easier for them to work quicker. It's a hard job and the conditions under which these children are working in, as you can see, is quite abysmal. If they do manage to work for 12 hours straight in such conditions, they can earn up to 50 cents a day. Nothing compared to the big money made in India's carpet industry. But this vast business benefits only those who run it, not those who toil in it. Mohammed Ansari is one of the city's biggest exporters. He shows me his carpets. Some of them can fetch up to $20,000. Many end up in homes in Europe and America. We see them working everywhere in India, in tea stalls, at embroidery shops, everywhere. If children are stopped from weaving carpets, then we are doomed. We're going to lose business. Indian law bans the use of child labor in many industries, including carpets. But poor implementation in the past two decades has made the law entirely useless. Crippling poverty drives many families to make their children work. And estimates suggest thousands are employed here in Mirzapur. The health implications are also horrifying. Mostly the thousands of children that we have rescued from the carpet belt, they mostly suffer from bruises and cuts. Because of the constant threading, since they work in very poor light, they also suffer from night blindness. Tahseeb's day finally ends. Today he's lucky he has something to eat. His mother, a single parent, earns only 35 cents a day selling homemade cigarettes. If he doesn't work, then how will he eat? Who's going to feed us? Who's going to take care of us? Nobody. Childhood isn't meant to look like this. For Tohseeb and many others like him, the question is, when will this hard work ever stop? Prerna Suri, Al Jazeera, Mirzapur in Northern India.